Dubai is one of the biggest sporting destinations in the world and today the CNBC on assignment I'm speaking with the man who heads this important sector in the UAE His Excellency Saeed Mohammed Harib the Secretary General of the Dubai Sports Council Excellency, it's wonderful to have you on this segment of CNBC on assignment. And I have to say that Dubai is one of the greatest sporting destinations in the world. And you've been instrumental in bringing it to that level of success. Can you just take us through a little bit on how we've got to where you are, Dubai and the UAE in being one of the biggest sporting destinations in the world? I can say in two words. <laughs> to get all of this, Peace and safe. Mm. When you have this thing in the country, peace and safe, yeah. and this is what the people are looking for. Yeah. If they come to invest money mm -hmm. or to come to live in UAE and Dubai especially, yeah. and they want all this thing together, this is what the main thing first. Yeah. From that, I can say we are start. And we can go to another thing, which is mean the infrastructure, of course, which we have it now in United Arab Emirates and in Dubai, especially when you have that the transportation, you have the road instruction, uh, road, and you have if all facility plus the uh, Emirate Airlines, which yes. they link 100%. with the all continental. So people, they like to go to a place where on all this uh, facility. That's what the goal is, start with it. Right. Then when you are organize events and not for certain people, no, for all the community. Right. And you share all them together with you. Sure. And that is also increase and make a growth in, the, uh, in your uh, uh, business side, economic side, and I was we said uh, before before uh, in the beginning, more thing we concentrate on it, more thing concentrate on it. We are looking for the community, right? And very very important because we feel they are part of our life here. Of course, they are uh, sharing with us. Without them, we cannot reach to what we reach it today. And you can see many, many facilities, many buildings, many things. This is built by community which they are live with us here. So we are feeling we are all together as one family. Yeah. So they are feeling also with us there is a peace and safe. Mm -hmm. and, give, and we give many examples to, 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 uh, to show the world how Dubai uh, or how people in Dubai live with the peace and safe. And give an example we can say uh, today we have the tolerance bridge, mm -hmm. which everyone can walk in that bridge. Not just this bridge for X, X, X person, no, for all together. So this one, you bring it together, you bring the economy together mm -hmm. also. Mm -hmm. That way say, in Dubai we start <coughs> to host many, many international event. First is a community, which is very, very important for them and then international event which is they found at Dubai is a beast and I give you an example IBL yeah. there's a big game what's happened and they cannot be done it in India or Pakistan yes. they come to be yeah. choose a Dubai and also in Sharjah also in Abu Dhabi why because first because the COVID facility in the other place is not easy mm -hmm. but in United Arab Emirates and Dubai, they found a solution, mm -hmm. and everyone, they prefer to come here. And not first year, not second year, every year. Right. Because they, they know what is a facility we have it, especially in a sports city, mm -hmm. which they have a, such a nice stadium for cricket. Mm -hmm. And we convert it also for soccer, mm -hmm. football we can. Right. So all this facility, I can say, 
how, how much and how many numbers of event we can uh, host it in uh, Dubai uh, or in UAE especially and still we going more than this mm -hmm. I can speak about the other thing all this international people mm -hmm. they use this as I said in the beginning the peace and safe they are also looking for more important to invest money mm -hmm. in the uh, United Arab Emirates and especially in Dubai to buy a house mm -hmm. to bring their kids mm -hmm. to use a school to use the academy mm -hmm. all this it make a growth in Dubai and then when we looking for it the GDP is increased and yeah. we are reached to 9 million which is two point something in our country this is very 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 important right. and I can say because that will be increased more and more if you compare it to the 2021 I'm sure after a couple of years will be reach more and more so if and how many staff working for yeah. private sector yeah. because most of the company they found the place like in Jabal Ali to open factory for clothes for the uniform for sports for this and other things the uh, tracking for cycling easy to make a tracking for Honestly, cycling yeah. but you can see the number of shop of cycling a big company they come to Dubai to open shop mm. of cycling mm. and beside the shop of cycling they open coffee shop yes, for course. cycling right so how many staff working in there how many number of them so. beside that how many people use the facility mm. of tracking many many of them right so it mean when you have infrastructure and you have that number of sink facility definitely people will come to for, for that yeah. but before that I repeated my word because I don't say that word peace and safe I remember this word is say by uh, someone very 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 uh, important in uh, in America and his name <laughs> President George Bush yes. he was here yeah. and he tried speedboat really in victory team oh. and when he tried the boat uh, I remember we give a, we give him instruction mm -hmm. and myself I speak with him and I told him the speed the area where you're going to be uh, and my uncle with him because he's a driver he's a co-pilot he he used uh, steering and the security told us don't go more than 70 kilometer and because the chopper should be same speed <laughs> and same time but he feel inside the cockpit hey <laughs> your boat is not fast right. he said I cannot go more because I have instruction I cannot go more he said okay go then he gave instruction to my uncle, go. Mm -hmm. Then he go fast, the chopper, as I say in Italy, ciao, they, they left the chopper behind. Okay, then we come back, the, uh, the head of security of the president mm -hmm. has come very angry and shouting to my uncle, why you make it this, why you make it this, why not respect the rules? And he said, don't ask me, ask your president. <laughs> and the president, come from the cockpit mm. take the helmet I said I feel peace and safe in this place right, right. it's mean a good message a strong yeah. message 100%. to everybody yeah that's where we are looking for a sport right. sport like another business uh, same uh, same ad, all other business it need infrastructure but it need safe and peace at the same time so you've mentioned some very crucial points here uh, at the beginning of the conversation you spoke about the sense of community that sports yes. creates yes the unifying of world cultures yes. that sport does and dubai and the uae is a particular example of all of this and of course contributing to that is the peace and safety of the region that enables the hosting of all these international tournaments and with all the multicultural uh, the 200 nationalities that you have here the sports sector actually caters to this diverse I give you, crowd. I give you an example. We have more than 400. Yes. That event. is great. Yeah. And most of them for community. community. Maybe 130. Sure. International. That's great. And yeah. one a good example last yes. year. Yes. There is a running in the Sheikh Zayed Road. Mm, the outdoor uh, sport act. 146 people 
John, 164. Who is in the middle of those all people? The crown prince. I'm sure. He's sharing with him. It's a visionary he show him, leadership. He's showing him, you are my family. Yeah. We are together here. Sure. We should be running together. You famously come from a family of seafarers and you, you have this deep connection with the sea and, and, and the land. And you've been an avid footballer yourself. You were, you were a coach of the national football team. Can you just take us through that journey a little bit? I'll come back to you to that one, but sure. I want to finish the community because perfect, I have perfect, very sure. good things. Sure. So the community, when they're running with the highness, and he is around, uh, mm. they are around him, this community from different nationality, mm. they use a Sheikh, uh, uh, Sheikh uh, Zaid road, they right. are running in that road, sure. and everyone happy to be close to the Burj Khalifa. Yes. They are happy to be running uh, close to uh, future uh, music and far away a little bit uh, the frame and every, every community stop take a picture and send a big family That's true. to see the family because they come in from different nationality see us how we are treated mm. in united arab emirates mm. or how we are treated in dubai and crown princes behind them or beside them or walking with them this is the message which we want to send right. to the world we are the country of the peace and safe that is what we wanted Right. That's what I said in the beginning, my talk, tolerance. That's what we learned from the past. Yes. That's what I learned from my grand and grandfather. Not right. me, everybody. Right. They learn to be always in place we say we'll come to the people. Sure. Okay? So I'm coming from that family which I born in the place was close to the sea. Yep. And close to the sea because my two grandfather is a sailor. Mm. And one of them is a judge for any accident, anything happen in the sea. He, uh, the person which government represent him, to be solve this problem. And my other grandfather is uh, related to the uh, place where they take the big fleet of the uh, ship or boat for diving for the bears. He right. know where exactly from Dubai to go to Abu Dhabi. There is a huge area, but they don't use a GPS. They don't use anything. They use a star only and sailing in the night or in the daytime until reach to that area. So I'm coming from that side of the mm. family, which I believe who, many people, they learn a lot from the sea. Yeah. Then from that, I start with the, uh, to go with the education and then the school, then national team with the school. Then I joined the uh, international, uh, what do you call it, uh, our national team as team manager mm -hmm. and I'm Thank God, we qualify for World Cup 1990. This is a one of the big history for us to be yes. uh, qualified for 1990. Okay. Then I was working in the military. I spent uh, 20 years of study in England, all these things. So a big journey with myself, with my family. And I believe always man without woman, <laughs> they will not reach That's fantastic. to the successful. So they must do together. together. And this is what uh, my uh, wife su support me and help me in that. That's wonderful. Uh, well, that's what I see. This is a long journey. But Dubai and we also is a good journey yeah. with the business. Yeah. And today, yeah. if you see how we are, facility what we right. have. Right. Example now, we are very close to Mondial yeah. football. And uh, you see many people will come to uh, United Arab Emirates to come to Dubai. And they want to use a facility, yes. and they want to use as a part of the community. They will stay in the hotel, they will stay in the apartment, they will go and traveling uh, by uh, fly Emirate to uh, uh, Qatar. They have more than 30 flight daily. But in the Dubai, they will need a facility. They yeah. need a running, they need a activity, they will need a sport. They need. We should look after them. Of course, there is a fun zone for the people, but also they not stay 24 hour mm -hmm. fun zone. Mm -hmm. No, they need activity more and more and more. Mm -hmm. And we are planning to do the activity for them who they are living with us here. Right. Yes. So in many ways, the sports industry has grown tremendously yes. uh, in Dubai. It contributes about $2.8 billion to the GDP yes. uh, in Dubai. But just take us through some of the biggest tournaments that you have coming up, uh, uh, sir. You've got a number of sports stars that come to Dubai and the UAE as a magnet. 
How do you manage to keep that momentum going year after year? The best tournaments on the planet coming to Dubai. After this meeting, I wish your camera go to the big picture <laughs> there. We have it there. Sure. And you can see all the legend of sport uh, in football. Yeah. They are always here. We are more than 18 years, I think so now. Mm. This conference, mm. we bring the top, top uh, legend and also the president, the coach, the referee, right. every year. So all of them, they come to Dubai with their family. Mm -hmm. And this conference, it take worldwide and they sent a huge message to say. And after that conference only, they come back alone right. to spend their holiday in Christmas yeah. or other things. So this is where we're looking for it. What they want to speak about it is okay, one chapter. Mm. But beyond, beyond that, what's going to happen? And most of them, they call and to come back to Dubai, and sometimes they book themselves. Leisure they tourism, yes. Leisure and tourism. Yeah. Because we have more facility. That is what we're looking for. It. So 130 event international, we have it. If we go from cricket or rugby or uh, water sport international, mm -hmm or we go for skydive, all this international. And not only in Dubai, as a base of Dubai, also we can go to Hatta. Yes. And the Hatta is the also mountains. the place, the mountain. And now we are organized with a uh, UAE, UAE tour, which we took the people around all the Emirates and to show him what other things we have it. So all this work together, there is a rank between all activity which we have it here in uh, United Arab Emirates or in Dubai. And we are soon, we're going to have another UAE tour, uh, which is very, very important for us. Uh, and we have stage to be taken in, uh, in Dubai. And the other thing, the special needs. Yes, yeah, special needs. That yeah. is very, very important. Right. Each part of base of Dubai, I'm sure they have people. For people of they want, we, we want to take him out. We want to take right. him to the street That's to fantastic. give him activity. Sure. We look after them. And during the COVID, we are working in that very, very hard. Mm. Because, you know, during the COVID, they're stuck in the apartment, they're mm. stuck in the flat. Mm. No, we make activity for them. Right. And they come down in the same area, okay, complex, or in the flat. And some of them, they make activity there. This is what we're looking for it. Right. Because as a human being, don't forget these people. Right. This is very, very important. And then we make activity. And many events was canceled in Europe. But they happened and in Dubai during we host it here because yeah. they choose it. They are, we, we organize it here because yeah. they believe. Right. They have, we have facility in the hotel, sure. we have facility in the no. Uh, stadium, we have a facility in transportation. Yes. Today course. there is special transportation for them to take them from X place to drop them there. RTE, they provide a lot of facility for them. Yeah. So that is one of the two. IBL, as I said, that not first time, not second time. The cup is not the first time also. So many things is coming. And also we have more than 80 teams and national team every year they use Dubai to be a uh, base for training every year. That's true. Even That's the Olympic be, teams came during the Olympic Tokyo team, they make a medal. Yeah. There is an Olympic uh, player in uh, badminton. Mm -hmm. uh, he was here in Dubai for yes. 10 months, yes. training and training. And he go and bring medal. And I met him last time and with a medal. Oh, and he said, thank you. United Arab Emirates, thank you, Dubai. You provide facility for me. Mm -hmm. And he believe what we have facility we have it here can make a short road to Olympic medals. I think it's also great, sir, that the city and the UAE, uh, you promote a lot of outdoor sports activities. And with many cities in the world also promoting cycling and e-tours and building infrastructure for that, you were one of the pioneers to initiate that movement here in Dubai the cycling tracks? The cycling track increase, increase, increase. I would like to thank RTA. They are looking for everything. Right. They make a short and they make it inside the city and they make it 
link the city with the desert. Yes. Make the wow. link the, the, the city with the mountain. That is fantastic. And if you see the huge number of the sure. uh, track which we have today in Al Qudra, mm. you can take your bike, no, no car beside mm. you. Mm. You are alone. I took my bike from my house. You're myself. a biker. I have. <laughs> I go until I reach there. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe I cross two or three traffic light, which will be respected. But I, I was there, there is no car. Mm -hmm. So I'm not thinking about the car, I'm thinking how to control my bike or my taxi. So this is facility, in not only in Dubai, in all UAE which will right. have it, and increase, because we, we believe it. When we see our president mm -hmm. himself with my bike, we see <laughs> the, uh, Sheikh Mohammed himself also in the bike, and Sheikh Hamdan, all of the community. So what we are waiting, because yeah. there's a good example, because our leader, always in the sport right and they are may, make a good example for everybody should be right. use a sport right as a style of the life right. and that's what we are doing today right, right. And, and, uh, and I repeat it again cycling is a big uh, track cycling we have it here also we have a big event international yes. for cycling here yes. in United yes. Arab Emirates beach soccer uh, that's it uh, I mean, if we count uh, all these things, beach soccer, before we are make just beach soccer, now we make it more than beach soccer. Right. Just we make it uh, volleyball, for example, yeah. and that is one big stadium we make it for there. Right. And if you go to the beach, you can see many, many activity mm -hmm. in the water side, water the beach side, or people uh, running, because there are three track, right. two track for walking sure. for kids and family, sure. other truck for cycling. They are all of them together, yeah. very close to, to go there. So parallel together. Right. So as me, who is thinking about this? Mm -hmm. This facility is not easy to find it in any country. Mm -hmm. And this is why, why we say community is uh, also our attention of uh, our priority. Right. Very important. Sense of community. We don't want to, think, to, to forget them because as I said, maybe they are part of our Mm. Uh, what you call it, uh, Beller, or to build uh, and the United Arab Emirates well. or Dubai, because they work with us. So all facility we provide it, not for provide it for ourselves, provide it for community and international, international. which we have it. Yes. yes. But just tell us a little bit about uh, some of the events that the world can look up, look forward to next year. And I'd like for our audience in Africa, if you could speak about some of the African sports stars that we have uh, that come to Dubai very often. Um, I mean, um, um, first, as an event which we're talking, we have event all the years. Yes. When the degree temperature reach 50, yes. we do activity. Yes. I believe we have in the ski, the base ski. Of course, yes. And we make it indoor. Right. And people were surprised how in this weather, Dubai, have they have facility <laughs> for ski. Right. Okay. And we, we do it. We never stop in the summertime. Mm -hmm. Summertime is very, very important for us. Right. And also, we have Dubai World. Dubai World, yes. And we have it also uh, to more than four months, mm -hmm. the activity there, right. indoor. Right. And with the different games, 30 oh. games almost, oh. we do it indoor. From cricket, from basket, from badminton, from table tennis, from volleyball, uh, academy, everything. So the, the community and the people who visit Dubai during the summertime, they believe in the sport world there is activity there. So sport is never stopped because the facility which we have it, it makes sense for them to come and use it. Some people come from Europe yeah. and they, in, Czech, in, in the Czech counter, they took the ski kits and they told them, where are you going? They said, we're going to Dubai. <laughs> To believe Dubai is 50. That's a great now, analogy. Yes, I said, no, I'm going to make a ski. Are you right. sure you might ski in the sand or right. in the... In the, in the uh, <laughs> that's a great analogy. So yeah, absolutely. that's a great technology to use sure, it. And sure. uh, I'm sure within a couple of years, we'll expand it more and more and right. more. Right. And other people, they come to use the beach and we have water sport activity. And we don't forget one thing in the sport mm. uh, activity, our traditional. Right. If you see Dull. the sailing, yeah. which we do it last week is combined together. Mm -hmm. The mass of the sail 
is the Cross Atlantis Hotel. Sure. And link with the uh, Jumeirah Island, which is show how much development coming for future silver traditional is a part of that. African, the connect, big connection with Africa, sir? Can you just dwell a little bit on that? This is, I can't go to the past. When I'm talking about the African, there is a lot of African player in the, in the past. Of course. When I, I'm talking about when we uh, start to play football, we bring many players from Zanzibar, yes. Tanzania. Yeah. They are good name. They are coming here and play, and still the name is famous. And I remember the, when the first time the Rajab Abdurrahman is from Zanzibar, is a coming famous player. He played with us here in Nasser Club, and then some player they play in Rasul Kema, some of the Arab in uh, Al Wahda in uh, Abu Dhabi, and after that, most of them they get uh, become as a resident and they get a nationality and they play with us in national team. And after that, I remember there is Al Wasl. They bring Mohamed Polo, mm -hmm. and the famous player in Ghana. Then uh, followed by Abdul Razak and Edi Bele is coming. Course. And after that, also George Weir. George Weir. Who's George Weir? <laughs> George Weir is one of the uh, president legend. of Liberia himself. Yes, <laughs> he also play in Al Jazeera. So many names there are coming to, to 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 us and to play with us. So I want to say that African uh, demand uh, to become uh, a lot of demand of them. And I remember that also there is African player famous. He bring his son hmm. to Dubai Academy, mm -hmm. to training in Dubai Academy. Really? Right. Then after that, it make a business side. Maybe he want to be go to any international or any big team in Europe. Right. So this is very, very... Uh, we have a name from Africa. We have many players from Africa. If you, today, Mahrez is coming. Mo Salah is Mo Salah. coming from Africa. <laughs> uh, Hakimi is coming right. from uh, Africa. So many, many uh, players, which they play in the top team. Yes, if you see uh, Sadomani yesterday, Sadi he won Mani. the trophy. He's playing in Bayern Munich. He was an ex-player before in Liverpool. Uh, he, I respect this player because uh, uh, he, everything he committed for charity, right. for, his, uh, for his country. And also, uh, Musalah is make uh, similar. Uh, Hakimi from uh, BCG is playing there and of course Mahrez with the city, Manchester City is there. So many players, is, uh, is, uh, they, they are from Africa, today they are raising a, a big flag for to represent their country to show Africa and they provide a good talent player. Raising the flag for Africa, thank you so much, we can recognize your passion for football as well. A city that never stops when it comes to sport and helming it, helming the sports sector, His Excellency Mr. Saeed Harib, the Secretary General of Dubai Sports Council. Thank you so much for watching this, CNB, this segment of CNBC on assignment. Thank you.